Hi, I'm Matt, and on today's Matt's World DIY, I'm making a delicious chicken crock pot dish. It's gonna be chicken and stuffing and potatoes. It comes together so quickly. It's so hearty and delicious. You'll be surprised how easily this recipe comes together. So let's get to it. So in getting your crock pot ready to make this delicious meal, you have two options. You could either spray your pan, spray your crock pot with some vegetable spray to prevent any sticking, or you can do like I'm doing and use these awesome liners. I like them because it makes cleanup a snap. It uh, is very, very convenient, and it protects your, um, your ceramic crock pot from absorbing any of the smells of like onions or garlic or something like that. So this is perfect to get things started with. Now, the first thing you're going to do is add your chicken or your turkey. Uh, roughly two pounds of uh, poultry meat, whether that's chicken or turkey, and um, just put that at the bottom of put that at the bottom of your crock pot. After touching that chicken, I have washed my hands thoroughly, so I don't have any chance of salmonella or anything like that happening. We don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now next thing you want to do is season your chicken or your turkey if you're using turkey. I love Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. This stuff is amazing. It's got a great blend of salts and spices that uh, really help enhance flavors in your, in your meals. I'm also going to put some garlic powder and I'm going to, in addition, eeks. <laughs> <laughs> In addition, I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. This stuff is going to be delicious. The Italian seasoning really adds more flavor than just if you uh, were to count on the stuffing seasonings to, to help you out. And of course, I cannot make anything without fresh ground black pepper. So squeeze your black pepper, squeeze your black pepper, crack your black pepper into the um, dish as well. And that's all the seasonings I'm putting in. You could use like Lowry's seasoning salt or various flavored salts uh, and poultry seasonings if you would like to do that instead. Before I continue with this, I just wanna remind you, if you like my channel and you enjoy the recipes and the DIYs that I'm presenting, give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. So let's continue on. I have my chicken in the crock pot, so I'm gonna put that off to the side. To a large bowl, I'm going to add a package or six ounces of stove top stuffing. I'm using the turkey flavor today. You could use the chicken flavor if you like. It's totally up to you. In addition to that, one 10 and a half, 10 and a half, 10 and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup. Uh, if you want to go with the name brand, you can do that. Or if you have like a store brand that you like, you can choose that as well. And to that, I'm going to add my one cup of chicken stock. Now, it probably would have been a good idea for me to whisk the chicken stock and the soup together before adding it to the stuffing, but what's done is done and let's just move on. <laughs> so I am going to take my whisk and try to whisk, loosen up that, uh, the cream of chicken soup and then just blend in the stuffing mix. So it's all just blended together. That comes together so quickly, so easily. Now, in addition, I have about three medium-sized red potatoes that I've chopped and quartered, and then I have about a half of an onion. This is going to go in up over my chicken, and then the stuffing mix is going to go on top of that. I'm going to put my potatoes and onions on my chicken. Just like that. And then I'm going to pour my stuffing mixture on top. Just keep making sure to get every little bit out of there because these flavors are going to marry together and just be so delicious. Okay, I'm going to spread that out just to make sure everything is well covered. And that's essentially it. So you're gonna let this uh, cook on high for about five hours, low for about seven to eight hours. And when you come home from work or you come home from doing your errands and shopping and stuff, you're gonna have a delicious meal here waiting for you. 
We'll see what this tastes like after it's completed. All right, let's take a look at what we have. Whoosh, there's some steam. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of that chicken in here. Got potatoes. And here's some stuffing. Now it's time to give this delicious dish a try. <clears throat> let's see what we've got here. I'm very much looking forward to this. This is perfection. The chicken is super tender and it just pulls apart so easily. The potatoes are nice and soft, but not mushy. And the flavoring is beautiful. The flavors that I put in, as well as the flavors from the stuffing mix, all come together to make this a delicious, delicious dish that your entire family and friends will love. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe. And if you like what we've got here today, check out some of my other savory dishes that I've got on my playlist. Thank you, see you next time.